Okay, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a rock climbing wall or any wall that has the appearance of a rock climbing wall in Revit. The first thing I've done is I've gone to my elevations and I've made four levels worth of elevations. That allows me to have 30 feet here of rock climbing wall. Set your elevations to whatever height you need them. In the level one floor plan, I'm going to go over and go to a component. We're going to create a mass a new way here. Under uh, component, I have to be careful how I click on that. I have to do the drop down menu and say model in place. Here I see a list of different categories of different types of host families, um, which basically helps the uh, component that I make behave a certain way. So, for example, if I made it a wall uh, category, it would be able to host um, doors and windows theoretically. Sometimes the angles in Revit throw that off. Um, I'm going to create a mass this way. In my previous video, I've created it through the massing and site tab. I'm going to say OK. In level four, I can actually draw everything I need. If I go to my floor plan level four, double click in there, click on level four to get the properties. And here, I'm going to scroll down to view range. I'm going to edit the view range and say view depth level. We're going to change that to unlimited and say apply. Say OK. Now we can see everything that we're drawing on. When I click on the line tool, I can now use the options bar here to switch back to level one, even though I'm still drawing in level four. And I can draw the base of my rock climbing wall, just like so. Then hit escape when you're done. Don't hit escape again. Instead, change to the next level, level two. And I'm going to make my rock climbing wall look a little bit different in level two. Hit escape. Then switch over to level three. Now you have to start to remember, right? Did you start up or down before? If you want to keep a certain pattern going. And then I'm going to go over to level four. And if this is too confusing for you, you can always change um, the line work up in each level independently or hide uh, some of the previous levels. So for example, Clicking on level four properties. If you wanted to just change your uh, your view range here, instead of being unlimited, let's say to like below level three, apply. It'll take away some of the line work for you. Now in 3D, we're gonna orbit around here real quick to kind of get a feel for where we're at. Highlight everything that you need. Create form, solid form, and now we have the actual massing element for our. Um, climbing wall. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to right click on it and we're going to hide this. I think I have to first finish this off, so I will. And then I'm going to now highlight this, right click on it and say hide and view element. We'll turn that back on with the light bulb. And then now here under the masking and site tab, if we want to assign um, a thickness to this, we can by making it a, a wall. Um, and then we can go through and add any other properties to it that we need through that wall command. So I'm just going through and clicking on all the faces, making sure that I don't miss any in this project. And I'm just starting at the top and working my way down to add a little bit of a systematic approach to this. Okay, and sometimes, um, it says it can't keep it extended or some different errors might pop up. That's actually not an issue. Um, everything should turn out just fine. Hit the light bulb on that. And here we go. Here's our rock climbing wall. Um, that is really to whatever height you want to go. You just have to repeat that process over and over and over again. Don't forget to save and subscribe.